Who's singing? I sing. I sing. Yeah. Jewish uh, young boy from the Jewish family hears the Adhan. Look at his reaction. And then we're going to come and talk about the Fitra. What is the Fitra? Brothers and sisters, just imagine for a second that you give £10 in donation and that £10 is used to buy food or bricks or whatever to help the people in Gaza. But then just imagine this amazing deed that you want to do, but we turn it into a money-making machine. How? The waqf is exactly that. They take your money and the money that we are going to put in, in this waqf, this building, and every single time the money generated from that waqf, that building, is going to go to our Palestinian brothers and sisters for the next 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100, 150 years. And this will be a form of true sadaqah jariyah. Click the link below and donate. Here is a video that was sent to me by a uh, brother Dawood uh, from the Salah Plus team. And subhanAllah, just look at this, subhanAllah, this is so amazing that this Jewish uh, young boy from the Jewish family hears the Adhan, look at his reaction. And then we're going to come and talk about the Fitra. What is the Fitra? When the Prophet peace be upon him told us every b believer, every m child is born a Muslim. This is amazing, bro. You cannot make this up. There is so much evidence in that the Quran is from the true God and it's the truth. Here's a clip, inshallah, and you'll be amazed. And I'm, I was going to ask you guys to follow them on Instagram. But sadly, I found out some hypocritical things about their page, which I'm not going to advise you to guys to do them. Neither do I want you guys to uh, send hate to them. Here's a video, inshallah. Singing. Who's singing? I sing. I yeah. sing. Are they singing for Hashem? Who's singing for Hashem? Up. Where's Hashem? Up? Yeah. This is people that believe in Hashem also, but they're not Jewish. They're Both other. Not. not? Yeah. <laughs> they're called Muslims. Can you, can you say Muslims? Mm, yeah. yeah, and they're praying to Hashem. Can you hear? Oh guys, you saw that clip, subhanAllah. This is so super, this is so amazing, subhanAllah. You always see it. You saw it in the Dubai mall when the child hears the adhan and is amazed by it. Uh, to you will hear a little child, a Christian young girl, there was a video and it's talking about how could Jesus be God? It doesn't make sense. And to this Jewish... Uh, I, I think I'm assuming it's a boy, so it's a young girl, I, I don't know yet. This child, this, uh, this toddler, who's there, and they hear the Adhan. What is the first thing they say? Hashem is basically what they call God, because they cannot mention God's actual name. It's, they see it very holy, so they don't even mention the name, yeah? So it's saying Hashem is singing, or it's, they're singing for Hashem. Look, automatically, they connect it. The young child hears the Adhan and automatically connects it. You know, children are very innocent. They say things... You know, they will say some, 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 they'll say some mad stuff, yeah, but it's the truth. They see what happens in the house, etc. Yeah. So when a child says something, you're like, whoa, do you get it? Like, you know, that's one place of truth because a, a child cannot be, you know, manipulated in, in that way. So you can see directly when they hear it, when the child is hearing the adhan, they could have said anything. They could have said, oh, it's from uh, Satan. It's from a bad person. It's the boogeyman or whatever. No. From who? From Hashem. To them, who it is? Allah. Yes, okay, to us, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah? Okay, um, in, in that aspect. So subhanAllah, uh, they equate that. And the Prophet peace be upon him told us that every child is born a Muslim on the fitrah. Unless that when they grow up, their family make them a Jew, they make them a Christian, or make them an idol worshiper, etc, etc, etc. Other than that, they are born with the fitrah, the innate inclination, the innate disposition to believe in a higher power. There was a study done in Oxford University by Justin Barrett. He found the same results that if you left a child without external influence of any religion, they would grow up finding or knowing that God exists, there is a higher power. Not they will not come and say Jesus is God or this person is God. No, no, no. They will know that there's a higher power, subhanAllah. Yeah? So this shows you that, subhanAllah, that's what And not only that, what did the child say? If you listen closely, he said, what? Hashem up. And this is the same thing when a slave girl came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, asked him about, you know, about Allah. I don't know if he said, where is Allah? I'm not coming, but she pointed up. Yes? And that was sufficient enough for her iman to testify that her iman is in the right place. Yeah? Okay. Now, obviously, we don't say Allah is in a direction, but you get the gist. The gist is that. He's powerful. It could mean it symbolized many things, etc. Okay, before the people come and say, "Oh, what well, if she was in Australia and pointing down, etc." Okay, so the, the the point is that we don't believe Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has a direction for that matter, yeah. But that's what it proves. Now, I was going to get you guys obviously to follow this family. They seem like the reason. I don't know if they live in Israel. I don't think they do for that matter, yeah. But here is a video that I saw and I thought to myself, "Come on, it's a bit hypocritical." I mean, I mean, let's just watch this, yeah, before because I don't want to ruin this whole video. It was a very nice video, etc. But check this out. What is it about today? Is, you know, for now for six months already. There is a friend of us that used to live in Israel and they're not in Israel anymore. Why? Can you think about it? Someone who was living in a house 
and now they're not in their house anymore and they really want to come back. Do you want them to come back also? No, they're my friends. You want your friends to come back? Friends who want to go back to their mommy? When you go to Ghana, you want to come back to your mommy? So also our friends, they want to come back to their mommy already. And it's been six months that they haven't seen their mommy. Is it sad that they can't see their mommy? Yeah. What can we do to make them happy? Back in the house and friends really want to go. They really want to go. Yeah, they really want to go back, right? Yeah. So we need to pray. We pray for them. So I find it very uh, ironic and bizarre that they are talking about there's this group of friends of they've been left etc. They're talking about the hostages. Yes, there's also hostages, uh, thousands of them uh, who are locked up in Israel. Not only that, it's very very ironic that you're talking about some of our friends that have gone. You know, they've been kicked out of their houses. Hello, do you? Hello, like do, do when you say this, do you think you know? Uh, you know, this is what exactly Israel done to the Palestinians? They have been kicked out of their houses. Yeah, you forgot the Nakba. You just said hello, hi. And I find it very bizarre. I find it like, really, like, are you like, are you um, oblivious to this or on, on purpose? Yeah, you're talking about the hostages. Yes, again. What we're seeing is that group of thousands of Palestinians. Yes, hostages should be released as well. But the point is this. Okay, the hostages are being taken much better care than these people that some of the world deems them to be terrorists. Than the, the Israeli democratic country that has ever treated. Broken arms, rape, all this kind of stuff So subhanAllah, uh, it's very bizarre So again, I'm not going to ask you guys to follow this family Because it seems very hip hypocritical But I just wanted to highlight the, the Jewish boy and his fitrah uh, You can see his fitrah is on uh, what Islam is That the moment he hears the adhan, he connects it directly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Hashem, they, that's what they call it That's what I wanted to say, brothers and sisters Enjoy this video, inshallah Do not forget to donate to the waqf in the end, inshallah May Allah bless and preserve you guys Please share this video far and wide Islam is the haq and is the truth And you can see even from children How could a child know that, that is from Allah, that is from God Almighty when he hears the Adhan and doesn't, it doesn't connect it anywhere else. That's all I want to say, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, just imagine for a second that you give £10 in donation and that £10 is used to buy food or bricks or whatever to help the people in Gaza. But then just imagine this amazing deed that you want to do, but we turn it into a money making machine. How? The waqf is exactly that. They take your money. And the money that we are going to put in, in this waqf, this building, and every single time the money generated from that waqf, that building, is going to go to our Palestinian brothers and sisters for the next 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100, 150 years. And this will be a form of true sadaqah jariyah. I myself will be donating for that, inshallah. Click the link below and donate. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless and preserve you guys.